Hi, I'm Meg and today I'm going to show you a variety of nifty cake decorating tools. We're going to start off with a rose cutter. Normally this is really time consuming and you have to make each individual petal and then thin them all out and this little gadget will do it all for us pretty much in one go. So I'm going to start with my flour paste, warm it up a little bit just to make it a little bit more malleable for us and easier to use. Pop a bit of icing sugar down. We're going to begin by rolling it out and just keeping it moving. Got a non-stick rolling pin here, which makes life a lot easier. Just check and measure it out. Push down on the top. So as you can see, this one is super thin. So we're going to grab a foam board, take our ball tool. We're going to use the big end today. And we're just going to move along the edge just to thin the edges of those petals off to make it look more realistic. So we've thinned all the edges out all the way along here. I'm going to grab a paintbrush and a bit of water. And just pop it straight along through the middle so it sticks shut. And then we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to get some more water. Just pop that along the bottom again so it all sticks. We're going to begin to roll. We're just going to roll the petals along together. And then we're going to take our last petal, grab our brush, just pop a little bit more water on there, and stick that one together. And then gently peel back each of the petals to open our rose up. Let that one dry, come back to it later and put it on top of our cupcake. So next off I'm going to show you the airbrush kit that we've got. So it comes with a couple of different colours and it's super easy to use. It's rechargeable, it's portable, I can move around my cake whilst moving my cake at the same time. Just take the cap off the top, we're going to go with yellow and we're going to do a nice ombre effect up the side of our cake. Squeeze in a few drops. Now, the trick with this is slow and steady. If you come nice and far out, you'll get a further spread of where all of the colour goes. If you come in nice and tightly, you'll get a much denser amount of colour. So take it really slowly, start from a bit of a distance and see how you get on. So I've now added a couple of drops of red into here so we should get a nice orange colour come and travel up the side of the cake. So Lakeland stock a huge variety of different plunge cutters, I've got a couple of leaf ones here today. So I'm going to roll out a nice bit of icing. And it is as simple as grabbing hold of my plunge cutter, popping it on the top, push down, take the excess off, push it down on the table to emboss it, and then I can just peel it out, and it is that simple. We've got loads of different types, we've got flowers here, and that's how I've made my little autumnal leaves, by mixing a couple of different colours together. And then you can just bend them, into shape and leave them to dry. You can do them thick, you can do them thin and they make a great base in order to build up the decoration on your cake for you to be able to maybe pipe flowers on top or make sugar flowers to sit on top of those. 